Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Babylon 5, this is season 1 and this is episode 3. This episode is called Born to the Purple. Now, the only thing that is going through my mind in regards to this title, I play a lot of Crusader Kings, is people that are born um, in the Byzantine Empire tend to be born in the purple um, in that game. So that's the only thing that I can think of is this is going to be somebody who is really important. They've been blessed by someone of importance, possibly like a pope like figure. Um, but I'm intrigued by this. Last episode, we had a little bit more insight into Ambassador Delenn and her links that she has with the Grey Council. That hopefully gets expanded on at some point because I would like to know what it is she's actually doing here because she's previously said she's here to observe, yet the Soul Hunter was asking her why is she portraying herself as an ambassador? What is she really here for? I hope that gets answered at some point because I love little fillers, little kind of drip fills into things. I just find it really intriguing. I'm going to get straight on into this. Let's go. I didn't expect this. Ambassador Molari. Nice to know they have entertainment here, though. Expect you in the council chambers at ten tomorrow morning. He never seems to turn up to council meetings. Gentlemen, this is what I've been waiting for. Please sit down. Oh, she's got very little hair. She's very beautiful, though. Gentlemen. He's getting a bit excited. <laughs> Put that drink down. <laughs> I am Kodar. Uh, I wasn't expecting you for several years. Uh, <laughs> I was here to begin my duty. Allow me to show you to your quarters. He's too in his like posh phone voice. How much has he had to drink? <laughs> oh. Check commences. She's got a thermos. Anomaly discovered. What the hell? Oh no. Oh! This delay is quite insufferable, Commander. I'll be glad to send him when he gets here. Oh, he's not turned up again. Mr. Kota, try the ambassador he's again. He's a bit busy. I've tried three times. It's nice to see the telepath lady's back. If you'll excuse me for a moment. Is she okay, though? <sighs> Too much strong emotion in close proximity is hard to block. <sighs> It'll show them Babylon 5 is doing the job it was meant yeah. to do. Yeah. If you can get that the, the first four didn't achieve. You're going to peel away their lies until Ooh. they're left with that inescapable truth. He's probably thinking, I didn't set an alarm, oh, oh, oh. I'm screwed. At the moment then, I thought I was dead. <laughs> you seemed alive enough a few minutes ago. <laughs> you make me alive. <laughs> you fountain of passion. It's the least I can do. So, it's my title you wanted all along, huh? I want no more. And what is it that you're getting, Adina? Mm. He's gonna be in so I much like bother. Coming. You were supposed to begin negotiation with the Narns over an yep. hour ago. And tell Sinclair I'll be there shortly. He's still pissed about and the beer. whole um Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Ship that his nephew was on, isn't he? You're overreacting, Mr. Garibaldi. There could be any number of reasons for this communications anomaly. Yeah. Such as it's gonna be a bad reason. Your magnetic pulse. Your goal channels are priority access, usable only by express permission of Commander Sinclair. The communication security is at yeah, risk. Yeah, it is. The Piraeus is requesting clearance to depart. But one transmission is not a conspiracy. Yeah, but now, it depends what that transmission is. Orders, and I will tend to it when my other duties permit. If one of us actually quite brutal, I like her a lot. The impressive Ms. Koda. Koda. <laughs> oh, it's like Luke and his blue milk. Oh, is she going to die? Oh, holy shit. Dragus. Putting on an act. It's difficult. Oh. He he doesn't trust me. I... You forget your place. A slave must never lie to her master. Oh, shit in hell. A drunken fool like Malari has the power he has. No. Whisper Information now. is key. Life in the back. Those files can bring down any house in the Republic. Use the mind probe. Oh, not a mind probe! Shit! After you've done your job, you'll have your freedom, and I'll have the Centauri Empire at by his fingertips. He won't free her. They never do. Oh, she's got all dolled up and everything. I had them grown for you. They do have a garden. Open it and find out. Oh my God! Just do not propose marriage. 
It originally belonged to a matriarch of my family, oh. a woman of wisdom. I've had it for many years. Went to give it to the right person. This poor guy doesn't have a clue. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, should I order us some supper? I hope she gives him it back. You must be hungry. She can't use the mind serious? probe if they go out. Yes. Finest restaurant on Babylon. Fresher. What if we're seen together? She really doesn't want to do this, but I don't think she's got any other choice. <laughs> they use a lot of bald caps. Lousy Dodgers. Who is this? Gotcha now, you. Warning. Didn't the commander have a girlfriend? Garibaldi. though? How are your fingers on my console? Prefects in the Russian consortium. What, they then they hit a wall ice. program hard. Black my board. What? That's not possible. It did happen though. Display all data on unauthorized gold channel transmissions. Make yourself more comfortable. <laughs> Before I probe you. Thanks. Oh. What are you gonna do now? That brooch is really nice though. <sighs> I feel like this guy doesn't really get a break, does he? Is he gonna pass out? I'm assuming she's using this probe to find out where he's put the files. Where are the files? Triple Oh shit. Why? I've got what you need. Purple files access. Oh, I like the writing. All data to crystal point. Oh. She's still not going to get freed. It never happens. Oh. <laughs> I'm assuming sure it's the next villain. day. Stop that infernal bleeping. My brain feels like it's been sucked out through my Pretty feet. much. Yeah, she left it. She's long gone. Oh, well, actually, no, she isn't. She's still here. I thought she'd left. Did you get Malari's file? Yes. Yes. Good. I'll meet you on the Zocalo, near the Galactic Boutique. I wonder how long, on average, most people stay aboard. She's Ambassador, not going to answer. I really think we need to be going. Represent our Republic in the talks today. Can he do that? I mean, yes, I actually don't think it's a wise idea. I agree. Nonsense. I have every confidence in you. Don't give away the home world. No, of course not. Hey, who you push? Adira? She's out. Adira has betrayed us both. If I can get there, Trakis will never find me. Can you book passage for me? Of course. She got a little friend. Adira, a non-agent. If those files wind up in the hands of your enemies, your career and but your that's what he wanted to do. Finished. She's a slave? Yeah. That little face, he smiled there. Somebody's got squeaky shoes. She didn't I recognize this guy. You. I said, get out. Lando. Don't ask. Whatever it is, Commander, I don't have the time. Lando. I have been a fool. And all because of a pretty face. Yeah. Sinclair, I beseech you. Have you reported this to security? Oh, I can't. If it becomes official, my government is certain to hear of it. If I do... What's in it for him? Will you agree to my <laughs> compromise on the Euphrates Treaty? I know how to handle these types. Surprise that well, hood covers his hair. So what is it you want? Well, all the makeup in this is really interesting. For a private show. Get the girls out <sighs> here. But there's going to be at least be one missing. We need some information about Adira Terry. They won't speak. Immediately. Adira has a friend named Girak. She lives somewhere in Brown City. Oh. I think. Right. I love this guy. He it. helps everybody. Just have your men delay Molari. I'll double the price. Who knew an insect was so in demand? When I have the girl. It's interesting to see this clearly like a class system in terms of rooms and things. It could only have been trackers, that worm. I like his glasses. Gun one. Property secured. Abort mission. Trackus has your answer. Gotta find Trackus. That means Adira and your still files here. are still aboard. No doubt in the hands of that villain, Trackus. Lando, she's the one who got you in this. He mess. still cares, though. I know. She have to go to prison All or something. All right, I have an idea. Gold channel opened. 
He's come out of the coma. I understand. Father? Yes. Oh, that's why she was acting like nothing happened. Oh, dear girl. I want you to know. He's doing quite well for someone who's just walked from a coma. Out. Forgive me. She probably already has. Papa? Oh, I think he's dead. You might want to pretend you never heard or saw that. Miss Winters will sit in and make sure the seller is dealing truthfully. Mm. Earth Alliance She'll will be able to tell. Of I never knew you could be so devious. <laughs> That's why he's a commander. Oh. Ambassador. Oh, where Adira Tiri is now. Mm. What? The alien sector, somewhere on level four. Security. She's, She's good. In the alien sector. Crystal. Is it real law? Don't say a word. My gremlin made another call. It was just what you originally said. A computer error. Good guy. I knew I liked him. She's still leaving. So you're going back to Davo, huh? Adira. Is she free? Thank you. Then take this. Oh. No one even checks your ticket. I feel really bad for Lando because in episode one we found out that the ship that his nephew was on that he got him a position on was attacked and he kind of felt responsible for it and then in this episode this has now happened to him. I kind of feel like this guy doesn't really get much of a break and it's quite sad to see really but it was nice to have an episode that was focused on him. I'm really interested in these purple files because, again, that's probably something that's going to crop up again because they are of, of extreme importance. They wouldn't have just thrown them in here if they weren't somewhere else along the line. The whole aspect of Ivanova and her dad was also interesting because we had a little bit of information about what happened to her mum. Um, uh, but interesting to find out she had a brother that died in this war. Everything I've said before, everything is always related to this war and it always comes back to it. Everything is linked to it in some way. And I like that a lot because it kind of gives this a bit more scope because you don't know what angle each character is going to play. You don't know if they're abiding by these treaties that have clearly been signed at some point to end the war, or if they are doing things because they're in opposition of the treaties. I like that. It gives these characters and the stories a lot of layers, actually. And I just find it really intriguing because... I genuinely do not know who I can trust coming into every episode or I will start to possibly trust somebody and then my, my outlook on them might completely shift three episodes down the line. I like being kept on my toes quite a lot and if this can do that then I'm probably really going to enjoy this very very much. So I'm going to sign off and say thank you and I will see you guys later so thank you.